dumb How you got cake and ain't fucking for none How may not ever catch you talking shit If you make a cap for the country You tell me I'm niggas, I'm like that freaky Nasty, fight me, I'll fight that Hey, man, I'm a real street bitch So you know I can't type that Hey, What's up, y'all? What's up? Which is what I got today. Today, it's been three weeks since I posted a video. I was like, oh no, I need to film a video because what am I doing? But y'all, it'd be hard to come up with ideas, but y'all, I'm happy because I came up with a couple of ideas for videos. So y'all stay tuned. And my birthday is in 34 days. Yes, I keep count. Okay, hold on. Look at this. It's not focusing, but that's my countdown. My birthday is next month. So y'all already know how I'm coming with the birthday vlogs, okay? Lit, 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 period. But today, just gonna be a little mellow video. I'm gonna be answering some questions. Cause the last time I did a Q and A video was last year, like in like October, November, no. I think it was the year before last year. So it's been like a whole year. It's been a long time. And of course, I've gained a bunch of new subscribers by then. So hey, if you're new. And I'm going to just be doing like an updated Q&A video. I guess I told y'all to ask me some questions. So that's what y'all did. Y'all delivered. But I didn't get too much. I just got a sandwich. I got some fries that I already ate. But it's still something in there. I got a lemonade, which has heck of that like... The lemon piece is still on there. I know I sound dumb. That's not what it's called, but I forgot the name of it. And then I got some Chick-fil-A So Yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. Hopefully, my hair looks fine. But let me get the questions. Here are some of the questions I got. Okay. Let me start opening this food. I never did like a mukbang before, so bear with me. The first question, it's not really a question, but the first question is entrepreneur tips. What I would say is be consistent, especially if you're just starting out. I cannot open a sauce for the life of me. When you first start off, like being consistent is really important because you need to be putting on, you need to be putting in as much work as possible because like when you're a small business, like you really get slept on and if you don't put in the work you're just gonna keep getting slept on your business is never gonna get out there so i feel like you need to be posting almost every day being active on your page business page like every day um it's not an actual job like you're not working for anybody you're working for yourself but you should still be putting in the work like it's an actual job because it is the actual job it's just like you're the boss you know but also one more um don't compare try or try because it can be hard try not to compare yourself to other businesses because i feel like also in the small business world it's really easy to get caught up in what everybody else is doing and i feel like that can really discourage you or like make you doubt your business like oh why am i not like them why am i like not getting as much sales as them why are they more popular than me like what am i doing wrong basically you don't really want to think that because honestly like everybody has their own pace everybody's gonna have their own time to shine if it's not your time that's totally okay you might take a little bit longer than others a little bit shorter than others like everybody's different honestly i would just say like just applaud for everybody else until it's your turn and when it's your turn it'll be everybody else's turn to applaud for you but honestly you don't need people to applaud for you apply for yourself be proud of yourself oh pickles then they're gonna put one pickle. Like, that's petty. I don't know like pickles. Um, this is a good question. I don't even know why I'm showing y'all because y'all can't see, but what are tips for younger females you wished you used? It's probably don't be so nice and like stand your ground more. Cause if you know me or, if you, or you know me for a long time, you know like I've always been super nice, a little bit too nice. Like I've been taken advantage of like a lot or like used, whatever you want to call it, because of how nice I am and people know or that not now but like used to they people used to think like oh like she's so nice she's not gonna care if i do this to her and i often didn't get the same good treatment in return like i will always do things for people that they don't do for me back in return 
and I was like kind of afraid to stand my ground. So I would say just don't be afraid to stand your ground. Like you can be nice and let people know not to play with you. You're not the one to play with. Like you're not finna get over on me, none of that. So that's what I would say. Next question, what makes you keep going? What keep, what makes you keep going when you feel like giving up? Um, Honestly, when I feel like giving up, I try to just think of I try to just think of the highest version of me, like um, how, like how I want to be in five plus years. I think in five years I'd be like 20, 21, something like that, like 21. Um, that's how I think, and I'm like, okay, to be that Micaiah that I want to be, I have to do this, this, and that to get there. I can't sit up here and lay in my bed and be discouraged and want to quit every five seconds. Like I have to put in the work to get there. Not everybody's born into success. Like you have to reach that level you know you have to put in the work like it's not going to just be given to you ew another pickle so i would say just if you're having trouble or like giving up just vision your most successful highest self heck of money all that and be like okay i need to do a b and c to get there life after high school um i definitely want to go to college let me not say definitely because I don't need to at all. At least for the things I want to do because I want to just be an entrepreneur on my own business. I don't need to go to college for that at all. But I'm doing it optionally just for the experience. Just for the experience of going to college. And also to grow my knowledge because I'm going to major. and Or I'm planning to major. And a business major or like marketing and stuff so hopefully college for me isn't just a big waste of time because everybody says college is a waste of time but i'm gonna try it hopefully i gain something out of that out of that business major and that can help me grow my business but i honestly i never want to work i don't work anymore if y'all are wondering i don't work anymore i did that willingly i didn't get fired or anything i did that like i left myself it wasn't nothing bad but like it's just not for me. Like I really, I, I really thought like that taught me a lesson. Like it's just not for me. All right. I feel like I'm really meant to be my own boss. Cause the whole, I'm not shaming nine to five or anything. Like do what you want to do. But me personally, it's just not for me. Like I need to work for myself. I can't. I cannot be on nobody else's schedule. You know. And I want to have multiple streams of income. I want to be having multiple hustles. So even outside of my business, I could be doing other stuff. Hair, YouTube, all of that. What made you get into YouTube? Okay, so I honestly been doing YouTube or should I say doing YouTube since I was like 19. Like I've been interested in it all the way since I was a little kid. Before I even knew you can get paid. I don't do it to get paid at all. But I've been interested in it for since I was literally a little kid. And I honestly, I just really enjoy creating content. I feel like this is another way to express myself. Because I often can't find ways to express myself. Because like I have really bad... Or let me not call it social anxiety. But I'm like... I'm like socially awkward in person, so it's hard for me to really express myself. But it's like I'm still talking to y'all, but like not face to face. So I feel like that's really good for me, and I feel really comfortable like talking in front of a camera and stuff. So I really enjoy this way of expressing myself without feeling tensed or nervous or anything. Cause it's so stressful to feel nervous when you're trying to talk to people. I like making content and then people give me good feedback like oh i liked your video or keep making more videos like that really like encourages me you know like i just really like creating content making videos coming up with ideas i'm a creator like that's what i feel like i love being creative creating things and bringing it to life so yeah what's your summer plans looking like honestly 
I don't really have like a specific plan. But I do have like a list of things I would like to do. So hopefully by the time summer's over, all those are marked off my bucket list. But next month is my birthday. So I have my trip and stuff. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Y'all will see, y'all will hear more about that when like you know, closer to when my birthday is here. Cause I still have a month this next month. But yeah, I wanna go to like amusement parks, like Six Flags, Santa Cruz. I wanna go a couple places. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to start your business? And I kind of already covered that when I was talking about um, my future plans. But like I said, again, I really don't see myself working for anybody. Like I just don't feel like that's for me. Like it's just, I just, I kind of hate it. <clears throat> like when I had a job, like it's just not for me. I just don't like it. So I feel like that's what inspired me to start a business. And like I said, I'm a creator. So I like how I can create a vision and bring that to life for people to see and interact with. I feel like that was born in me to create things and stuff like that. And I've always wanted to be my own CEO in Boston. I don't want to work for nobody. Got any advice for someone wanting to start a business? Um, I already covered that when I was saying like tips for being an entrepreneur or something like that. But um, again, um, be really consistent, especially just starting off because you're trying to elevate off the ground. Because like I said, being a small business, people will literally look right over you and won't pay attention to you. If you post something, you don't get no likes. You think people aren't seeing you, but in reality they are. People just don't be liking posts for some reason. Or like, everybody's not gonna interact, but that definitely doesn't mean that they aren't seeing, they aren't watching. So it might be a little bit quiet, but they're watching. So you keep doing your thing. Definitely make sure that you have at least a little bit of money saved up. So when you start your business, you're not like, oh, I, don't, I can't buy anything because I can't afford it. I would say a cool, let me see. Cause we're gonna need like bubble mailers, printer, all that stuff. I'll say a cool like 200. I'll say like at the least, at the least, a cool 200 could really be a great, can get you some nice good supplies for starting pack for your business, so yeah. But how long have you been doing your business? I've had my business for a year, a year and some change, like a year in, Three months, four months. So, kind of long, but not really. Same time. I've had it since January of last year. Do you see yourself and sing it together for a lifetime? Hopefully, because he's irritating. I'm just playing. But yeah, like, people don't understand. Me and him are like this. Like, it's way deeper than just the boyfriend, girlfriend, couple title. Like, we're literally like best friends. Like, we're literally, it's, it's deep. It's deep. I'm not going it's deep. So, I mean, yeah. I would see that. I'm hoping for that. Planning for that. How many kids do you want? I'm not really thinking about that right now. I don't even want to grow up, honestly. So, I'm not even thinking about that right now. Are you going to do a video with Sydney? Yeah. I always try to when he comes over, but, like, we just always end up not doing it like i don't know why but yeah i want to do future videos with him i want to do some pranks on him too like that'd be funny but y'all should give me some video ideas to do with him but y'all that was all for this video Ooh, this lemonade is good that was the end of this video i really hope you guys enjoyed hopefully this video is not too long make sure you give this video a thumbs up comment down below comment anything comment how you feel about this video other video ideas comment just comment share this video subscribe to my channel of course if you're not already because mm, like what are you doing but yeah i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video new outro and one two three